Why well, hello there you sexy beast, I am Vardy1 and welcome back to another episode of Agoras Generations of War. So right now we're going to be continuing on where we left off about, oh I don't know, two months ago. Except the only difference is we're going to be doing this on easy mode from now on. And the reason we're doing this is just so we could progress in the game and to continue on on the story in a faster pace. Just because I really like to know what's going to happen in the story. So let's go, let's go to this event where we get to poke fun of some more character dialogue. Okay, Doki, let's go. Hey, it's snowing. <laughs> yes, whatever you say, Lavinia. Okay, so Lavinia is the first character that we met in this generation, and Thomas, the main protagonist of this generation, and his mentor, Winfield, is pretty much gaga over Lavinia. <laughs> Although Lavinia is not really my type, I don't know why. I'm probably not gonna pick her as my waifu. Yes, what's wrong, Lavinia? Oh, you mean walking in uh, in our skippy slutty outfits? Well, I guess that might be an issue, I suppose. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you, Sarona. You're perfect, you're perfect. What? Ears? What what's wrong with elf ears and uh Yeah, what's what's wrong with that? It's not like they're showing off their boobies or showing off their nether regions. Come on, it's just ears. What's wrong with that? Is, is that like sexual for some people or something? Do people get off on elf ears? Mimi? Yeah, what's what's yeah, what's what what's wrong with ears? Really? They're sexy. <laughs> I, why? Why are we hiding ears? It makes, it makes elves elves, you know? And how are they supposed to hide their ears? I mean, they're kind of sticking out like that. Okay, Lavinia, how come you're not hiding your ears? I can see your ears right now, huh? Oh, so the two previous continents, the two previous generations, this continent does not care about elves. Oh, I'm kind of sad. Okay, what do they care about? What what fetishes does this continent have? <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, Zerva, I forgot about you. So Zerva is probably the only male elf that we have in our party so far. I wonder if we're gonna get more. I'm quite interesting because right now we've been getting a lot of female elves as our party members. Oh, so we're gonna be so we're gonna be entering another elf town, so that means we're gonna see a lot of sexy cute elves! Oh yeah, some kawaii elves. You jelly, bro? You jelly? <laughs> of course, sir, jelly. I mean, elves are so elegant, they're so graceful. So, uh, I don't know, it's just... I guess I would be jealous too. Alright, so I'm assuming that the lives is difficult for everyone else except for the elves. So what's the issue here? I mean, are, is, is it the elves' responsibility to make sure everyone else is living good as well? I mean, come on, really. Well, I, I just don't see what's what the elves are doing wrong. I mean, they're just keeping them to themselves. They're not they're not bothering anyone. Well, they're not really helping anyone. But ser but still, I mean, what is the elves doing that is making people other people not like them? Really? Oh yeah. Oh that. Oh yeah. That's that. That would be quite the plan because. We're gonna go in, we're gonna destroy everything, we're gonna rape and pillage, yes. Oh, 
Oh, so the elves pretty much stay in the in within the elf city. They don't venture out. They don't do anything else. Okay, okay. Wait a second. So how would people know that we're elves if they rarely see elves in the first place? Oh. So what if you're a human, but then you're born with a genetic mutation that makes your ears big? Does it mean that you're outcast? Wait a second, Vastor is an elf too? Whoa, I did not know that. Holy shit! See, Thomas, this, this guy is quite the womanizer in this generation. He pretty much kind of hits on a lot of women. <laughs> Oh man, this is Thomas, but he is kind of weak. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm not really sure if I should use him in his in this generation because he's kind of those type is a type of a character that is um, a jack of all trades but master of none. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna scare off all the haters. I mean, there's probably going to, going to be a lot of haters in this town. And they're probably not gonna mess with Arbo and uh, Borgnine. Ah, yes, this fancy pants flower guy is Arbo, and everyone's afraid of him, apparently. Nandeuresonata? <laughs> I bet Winfield is so eager to see the elf city because Winfield right here is pretty much the original womanizer. I mean, he is the reason why Thomas is acting uh, like a womanizer as well. And you'll see later in the series and if you watch my previous episodes that, you know, these two guys, Thomas and Winfield, is quite the womanizer. Yes, indeed. Yes, Madame Bodyguard, oh yes. She's quite the bodyguard, she's well built if you know what I mean. Oh! <laughs> okay, so right now we're in a city, we could buy stuff, we could afford stuff and yada yada yada, but anyways, I don't think we need to do that now, right now. Actually, wait, wait, I think I need to do something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell some stuff because my inventory is getting a little bit full. Let me see, I'm gonna get rid of some items. Um, let me see, where's that item I'm trying to get rid of? Because I'm maxed out on one of the items. I think it's the Fragment of Life. Let me see, where is it? Did I pass it? Fragment of Life, sorry. <laughs> Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. So I could only hold 20, so I am gonna sell about uh, 10 of these. Oh, let's make it 11. I'm too lazy to press the minus button. There we go. I'm sure we don't need them. So right now we're gonna be going into our first battle, and we're gonna be skipping this battle if we're not gonna see any new monsters or new background, because this game likes to reuse background and monsters, and I don't want, and I don't want to like make you guys watch the same battles over and over and over. Okay, so it's the same background and the same enemies. We have these little piggy orcs and goblins, so we'll be right back, folks. Alright everyone, welcome back, welcome back, and right now we're treated with another event, so get ready guys! <laughs> wow, wow, this, this game is trying to hide who the identity of this evil thing is. Well, it's pretty obvious it's going, it's going to be that Black Knight that we've encountered in the two previous generations. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it is. Except this time, she's he is talking. In the previous generations, he doesn't really talk. Oh, this bald guy is evil! Now, we encountered this guy in the previous episode, I believe. Previous or the previous, previous episode. And I believe he's some kind of a king, I don't quite remember, but he does have a green-haired daughter, and I, I think that she's probably going to be one of our waifus in the future. That's what I'm thinking. 
一度交わした言葉を互える者には容赦はない。Okay, so what exactly are these two planning? Well, who knows? Maybe we'll find out in a later episode. Juju, so much is told us. Actually, I don't think it's a Black Knight, the evil knight, because I remember the other,、uh, the Black Knight has like some kind of an insect face on the armor, but he doesn't seem to have it. Huh. Okay. Oh, so if we do what the Lord tells us to do, then he'll give us a reward. Oh, I see. Well, not me, but you know, this bald evil guy. Well, I didn't really expect this guy to be evil when I first encounter him, when I first meet him. I, I don't know, is this. Well, I guess now that when I look at it, you know, having a bald head and with that kind of a facial expression and bushy eyebrows, I guess he would be evil. Hehehe. <laughs> Now, now, Musoi is the city we were in before, where, where we were having a, 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 a discussion on why you know, the people there hate elves. Oh. oh, looks like this lord has,、uh, likes elves or something because he wants a city for himself. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I, I, I understand, yes. Who wouldn't want a city full of、uh, elf girls, huh? Interesting. So, if he takes over that small little city, then he takes over the entire continent. Now, how the hell does that work out? Is there some kind of a magical talisman or, or something there? <laughs> oh, I knew it! This guy has some kind of an elf fetish! Oh, yes! Who doesn't? I mean, who doesn't have an elf fetish? Unless you're playing like Skyrim and you have those ugly elves with those little slanted eyebrows and long faces. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, evil guy! Ah,、oh, what a little bitch. Just, just, just being someone's lapdog. But, anyways, I think this might be a good place to pause, everyone.、Uh, you sexy beasts. I hope you sexy beasts enjoyed this episode of Agri's Generations of War. And we're gonna be continuing on and see how far we're gonna get now. I, even though I'm playing on easy mode, it's still kind of difficult. I still have to grind a little bit, and I, you know, I, I still can't just roll through the game that easily. But I guess it's much better than hard. <laughs> But, anyways,、uh, see you, sexy beast, later. Stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy.